Hi, my name is Angelica. We are Young People Speak Up. Welcome to Stress Stories, the fun place to learn about the heritage on your doorstep. In this session, Cheryl will tell us about the soldiers of Donald's Fair and we will write letters back in time to find the soldiers. Why do we remember the soldiers of Town Hall Square and of Llanetli? It's over a hundred years since the First World War. But the British Legion still helps us to remember. Like their project, the Great Pilgrimage 90, in August 2018. You see, the First World War began in 1914 millions of men and went off to fight in the war, many of them from this area, from Llanetli, and they may even have been your relatives. They weren't very old, some as young as 17 or 18, and the conditions were terrible. Millions of men died fighting for their country all over Northern Europe, and their bodies are still buried there. The war ended at 11 o'clock in the morning on the 11th of November 1918 and we remember this every year lest we forget on Remembrance Day. Without these men our lives would have been so different. They did not return from the battlefields. Can you imagine that number of men dying in war? We've just lost a hundred thousand people to COVID-19. Imagine losing millions. So the British Legion in 2018 decided to have a gathering with a thousand wreaths that were laid representing local communities from all over the UK and Llanetli took part. And we were able to take part in a very special way. But before I tell you about that, let's think about the soldiers in Town Hall Square. You've probably seen lots of monuments in Town Hall Square and walked right past them without paying any attention. But every single name that you see carved upon a piece of stone is a man who died and fought for you, for your country and for this town brave, resilient, courageous men. Just think about that for a moment. And many of them won medals, like Sergeant Ivor Rees. Sergeant Ivor Rees, VC, was with the 11th Battalion South Wales Borderers. He was born in Vellinvoyle, Llanetli, on the 18th of October 1893, and he died in Tisha in Llanetli on the 11th of March 1967. So he was one of the men that came home. He was awarded the Victoria Cross by Queen Victoria for the most conspicuous bravery in the attack on the 38th Welsh Division on Pilcombe Ridge during the Third Battle of Ypres in Flanders on the 31st of July 1917. Now there were millions of men out there. So for Ivor Rees to win a victory cross for conspicuous bravery from the Queen herself, he must have done some amazing things. And the Town Hall veterans erected a blue plaque that's part of our blue plaque trail here in Llanetli in honour of Sergeant Ivor Rees. And if you want to find out more about him, why don't you go to Town Hall Square? There's a plaque there with his full story where you can read about his deed of valour. Now one of the very special projects that happened here in Llanetli to remember the centenary of the First World War was a story and poetry project that I mentioned earlier, organised by the British Legion. And you can see here some beautiful poppies and a poem that was written by the children that you see in the picture with the support of Stephanie Sims, who will be reading her poem for us now. 
Brave boys fight to free our future. Proud young men who long for home. On war-torn, blood-red fields of mud, where enemy and rat both roam. Life, death, mixed with poppy flower. Men, women strive, but not in vain. Strong bonds never will be broken. Alas, they won't see mum again. We are sad as we remember those soldiers we have never known. But say thank you to lost loved ones and feel the courage they have shown. And you can also see in this picture a gas mask, a gun holder, a little poetry book and a hat that was worn by Great Uncle Gwilym. Great Uncle Gwilym from Llanetli, who died in the trenches, just aged in his late teens, writing poetry, perhaps feeling a hereith, a longing for home, a longing for Wales, writing his poems in Welsh and English. He didn't come home. In fact, he's still buried out there with nothing but a cross above him. And this poem from the children of this town went out with a reef on that remembrance of over a hundred years to say thank you to him, to bring him full circle so that his family could know that we have honoured him as a town. Just as we want to honour all of our soldiers at Town Hall Square. So why don't we write a letter to the soldiers and send it back in time to thank them for taking care of us and for giving their lives. Thank you and Godspeed. Rest your souls to heaven. Brave and honored. Valiant. Brothers in arms. No one gets left behind. Oh, the good soldiers never gets left behind. Bring something during a war or good luck. Think about the girl who in love and waiting for you. Last, your family is waiting for you to come home. Why go to war? What compels you to leave everything behind and fight beside strangers until you're destroyed? Are things so bad at home that you think you have nothing to lose? Are you motivated to stand up for your home? Or both? Whatever the reason, thank you. Thank you very much. I would have been so lost without you, my soldier. I'm so grateful that you're fight fighting for our country. It's so strange not being able to hold you or being able to touch you close to me. When fighting for our country, it's helpful to help others and being supportive of each other. It makes me feel so moved telling me that you're going to do this. It gives me heartache every day thinking that you're not going to be seeing your family grow up. Dear soldier, we shall remember the ones that we love and we still love them inside our hearts. I wish I to say a massive thank you for those who have been fighting for our country and also dying. But I can because they are in heaven resting forever and ever. Being brave is a hard thing to do because not everyone can be brave. Even though when someone is waiting for you, don't come back and this whole thing about dying and all of the stuff makes me mad because when someone's dying, the other person will say, I want to go with you, I want to die with you together. This was really sad and I hate when people say that. I wish I could hold your hand or hug you or remember the way you smell. Just remember your breath. Just to say a massive thank you. But I can't because you are inside my heart and I will always remember you forever and ever. I hope you will be able to be with a girl who are you in love with and have the best memories and come back to sweet home. Thank you so, so much for taking care of us and fighting for our country. I miss you all, the ones who are in heaven. I hope you're having the best day. Love you all.